I cut my holiday in paradise short to travel over to Ireland only to lose my camera, buy a new one, and all for what exactly? <laughs> my first ever taste of Irish football, Irish Guinness, and Irish atmosphere. This is Cork City on the road. Enjoy. <laughs> I've had an absolute mare, which is why this video starts in this hotel. Let's pick that ground level and I'll bring you all up to speed. This camera right here is absolutely brand spanking new. I left my other one on the plane and they wouldn't let me get it back. Let's go through a lost property process thing. So here we are. And where is that exactly? I'm in Ireland. I cut my holiday short to come back for non-league day in England, but with one day spare, an hour flight, here I am. This is the Metropole Hotel where I'm waiting for a taxi. 92 quid spent. Ugh. With the taxi arrived, let's just jump into it. I genuinely haven't had enough time to even sort out the camera settings on this. I'm, I'm just going well all O and, and seeing what happens. And with that said, on the road, yep, yeah, back again. And today we're visiting Ireland for the very first time, not just as a series, but personally as well. My first ever time in Ireland. More specifically, Cork City tonight. Why? They're at home, close to the airport, and I've got to get out quickly. So it all made sense. As you can see, I'm traveling in style tonight. Metallic car mats, a brown leather dashboard. Haven't we been treated? And the best news, they've got an Audi. Fantastic. Obviously, we're diving straight into this. So this video tonight will be a, a little bit shorter, I imagine. I'm missing half my trip, and I. Antigua to Gatwick, Gatwick to Cork. Let's find out some more by saying, name, it's Cork City. We were founded in 1984. They currently find themselves in the League of Ireland Division 1, which is one of two divisions, Premier Division 1. And you'll notice they're currently top of the league, hoping to get back to where they were as they take on the league's bottom side, Athlone Town. Hopefully I said that right. They play out of Turner's Cross, said that right, which has a total capacity of 7,485. Some of it's seated, don't know how much of it's heated, on with the video. As we chuck a left at the lights, we go past the Turner's Cross Tavern. And a little further down, we arrive at a ground, a football ground, and a football ground called Turner's Cross Stadium. That trip cost me 980 in euros, 820 in the pounds. And as I get out, an Englishman walks into a bar. Not a joke. Where I'm about to have my first ever Irish Guinness. Gotta let it settle though. Must we do? Here's Brian to tell us about hurling. You gotta go see a hurling game. Definitely. I know I'm a soccer fan, but hurling is one of the greatest sports in the world. So you gotta go see a hurling game. Get it on video, get it on your channel. I'm drinking Guinness. I think I like it. It is so smooth, I tell you. So, so smooth. As I said, this is the Corner Flag Pub, and the man behind the bar, he watches the videos. He's about to give me a tour. Basically, we're just going upstairs. You can't actually buy beer in the ground here, so a lot of people come back in this pub and grab some beers. They've also got a lovely terrace with a great view, and I think if you pay around 50 euros for a ticket, you get some drinks included, and you get this. Now, if I wasn't looking to catch the atmosphere tonight, I'd definitely be here. Anyway, let's get in the ground. I actually just bumped into a few lads that watched the videos up in that terrace, so uh, they're going to show me about. Very dark here. Got me ticket out. This one sent me back 15 euros. It's about £12.50, Smith. So, so dark, but... Ba -ba! Ah, the catering van. I've been warned about this. Don't eat in the ground. Please don't eat in the ground. I'm going to eat in the ground, because that's that's what we do. Just got myself a cheeseburger and chips. Nine euros. Five pound fifty. Can I ask you something? <laughs> what? You're you don't know my name. Like, to know where you'll be guessing people's name. Why would you think my name is? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryan. Luke. No, definitely Ryan. Ryan, everybody. Um, Ryan's got a brother. Half-brother, I think. Looks like a Stephen with a PH. Thieven. Oh, don't forget. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. So, I've bitten into my burger, right? And... I'll let you know how it goes down at the end of the video. Onto the chips, I offered some to the impromptu tour guides, including the likes of Drake, who's actually called Craig. I thought you said Drake. Then we had my man here. I can't remember his name. Mm. What I do know is he preferred Westlife to Boyzone, and that for me is a winner. I swear it all over again, he's my special thing. I'm flying without wings. Kian here didn't want any chips, neither Steven with a PH. And Ryan, he's just gutted. He knows the food rating's gonna be low. As I say, I'll let you know how that went down at the end of the video, but right now we're going into the ground. Let's see what it's about. <laughs> Sound on this new camera sounds awful. Where's my little mic muff? Meanwhile, currently seat surfing, trying to get a spot. And here we are. Game's actually started and 10 seconds in. <laughs> and now you guys realise why I like to stand at the back. Get out of the way and uh, get a good shot, really. But hey, listen, we're amongst it. Let's embrace it. <laughs> Early doors, they're dominating. Corner here. We're on. Oh. The domination continues. Ronan Keaton's cousin's got a tap in. <laughs> Perfect start, and just to let you know, Justice for Stewards, it's not a thing at Turner's Cross. Tell a light, it is a thing. It is a thing, people. Go on, watch the match. Enjoy it. Corner, shouts around ball. Everyone's got the cameras out. Can't stand people to film with a football. Terrible. And before anyone says if that was the joke, yeah. oh, dear. Yeah. Two 
nil down and Aflo must feel like they're being eaten by a lion at Fotter. I haven't really had a chance to look around the ground properly, but yeah, we've got this here. That thing down there, a slightly bigger thing over there. And then of course this place, which is where all the noise is at. Still sea surfing and songs. <laughs> Showing up two down there. Probably watching. On the road, yeah, back again. Exactly, yep. Now, every regular viewer knows that I try and get a throw to the football to football, but every time I try to do it, I miss something. Normally a goal as well. This time I feel myself taking a throw to the football to football, and look what happened. <laughs> This is the quietest he's been all night. Afflan Town has scored. Four goals in the opening 37. Are you not entertained? <laughs> the following that traffic going back in the right direction. <laughs> Get your flags out. That is half time. We're going back to the pub for some beers. I've been in Ireland a matter of hours and I'm drinking on the regs. The only problem is they're not letting them out because they haven't got a half time ticket. This is news to them and news to us and news to everyone. You want to get beers at half time? Get a half time ticket. Alright, so instead, let's take a walk around this ground. First up, there's a shop where you can buy tea, coffee, and sweets. And around the back of the stand at the side, we've got a hospitality room. If your ears not down, you're not coming in. It's actually locked. I was never going to get in anyway. Then we've got a tunnel, light at the end of it. At the other end of the stand, big demand for sausages. People love the sausages. Can I count these sausages? Good chance to see the flag, girl. I think the sausages are probably thicker. That flag is massive. Like 69 month clothes on a newborn baby. I speak from experience. Liam on photos is currently playing an older version of football manager. Gone for the Irish international job and he's got Declan Rice playing for him. He's magic, you know, Liam on photos. And can this be classed as every non-league ground as a pile of crap? It's not really a pile, it's just a cone base. And are they really non-league? I've got non-league prices, absolutely. I'm getting non-league vibes, but this is Division 1 of the League of Ireland. Now actually ask the guys where they think they would sit in England. Well, they actually said bottom of League 1, top of League 2. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Let's know in the comments below. In the corner here. A bit of advertisement for the local radio. And they should maybe use that van as a scoreboard. That'd be well useful. Stretch around the other side of the ground. We're in this corner and uh, it's a sand pit. Great for the kids. They love it. I'll bring my ones along if I come back. Yeah, seeing things on this side, it's a nice little gaff, in it? Long stretch of walk down to the end now as we go past the K block. These little glimpses of football grounds make me really happy. And these little glimpses of a toilet make Charlie really happy. Yeah, that is one walk around Turner's Cross Stadium. Let's get back in for the second half. But wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that, if you enjoy these videos, could you drop a like, show your appreciation? The more we get, the further we go. Go on, smash it. And back to business. Where well, the flags are flying. We've already got a goal. <laughs> I think we're going to see much this half. I find most teams shoot towards the atmosphere the second half. Maybe they lost the toss, I don't know. But that said, take your shoes off. <laughs> Dara, put your shoes back on. Mum's gonna kill me if you got dirty socks. Okay, so we've had shoes off. Now everyone's sitting down. <laughs> Sorry, throw the pause down in there too. <laughs> oh, go on, this one and all. <laughs> Look, they love a song, they love a flag. What's not to like? And they've even got digital size boards. This makes me happy. You know it makes me happy. I said, get your flags out. And we're back to justice of shoes at Turner's Cross not being a thing. I do apologize. I told you. What are you looking at? I'll tell you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this man walking. It's Aflo's Aaron Connolly. He's just been sent off. Oh, oh, look, I just found a Spurs fan. He's about to get a bottle of drink out of his bag. And what's it going to be? You know what it's going to be. No, it's, it's, it's a fan of lemon. Which, should be fair, isn't a bad drink. So anyway, City have got a free kick here. It's put straight across. Everyone's missed it. Shoot. <laughs> What are you looking at? I'm just admiring the sky and the stars that are in them. Well, guys, full time already. Damn, son. That went quick. But this song here is the one I'll remember most for Cork City.
great. A flying visit to Ireland, Cork City to be exact. Should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. And as per usual, we're going to start things off with atmosphere. Didn't shut up, did they? Not once. Actually, maybe once when they conceded, but it soon started going again. There was singing, there was clapping, there was drumming. There were flags, there were scarves, there were shoes. Don't forget the old Poznan as well. They really love football here, you can tell. As far as atmosphere goes, I'm going to give them a decent score. Four and a half stars. All right, next up, we're talking facilities. How was it at Turner's Cross Stadium? I came here comparing. In my head, I'm thinking non-league, but it's actually built towards football league. They think they could cut it in the football league. League two, maybe the bottom of league one. That's irrelevant for me. Did I like the stadium? Yeah, I thought it was all right. We'd love to see it packed out. I bet it would be absolutely rocking. What's it going to be for the Turner's Cross Stadium? Three and a half stars. Next up, we're talking food and drink. Well, I was told to stay away from it. Don't eat it. Please eat outside the ground. There's some great places, but no. Got to be trying the food in this stadium. Maybe I got lucky here because the burger was actually really nice. I rate it. Cheese was melted. Onions were in there. The bun was ever so slightly toasted, which gave it an edge on the texture. The chips, not as good, but still good. I had a mixed bag, I think. Some of them were really nice. Some of them were slightly underdone. Maybe where I was told it was really bad and it wasn't made it feel even better. But look, I'm going to go with four stars for this food. It's, it's, it's fine. Don't worry, guys. Go and buy your food at Cork City, which finally brings us onto the costs. It was cheap, wasn't it? It's non-league prices, which can only mean one thing. It's five stars for Cork City. And I've just had to add this up a few times just to make sure I'm correct. Cork City FC are better than Barcelona. There, I said it. They sit in second place with 17 stars, being pipped by half a star at Fulham. And it's probably because of that first half against Bristol City, which was absolutely crazy. But fair play to Cork City. I went there alone. They made me feel so, so welcome. And will I be back in Ireland? Absolutely. Their season actually runs through the summer, so I'm sure I'll be there a few times at least. But before going back to my hotel, one last drink in the corner flag. This man here is Kian, big fan of the channel, insisted on buying me a drink, which eventually I accepted. And here is that drink. It's Beamish. It's basically Guinness, but it's brewed in Cork. I was waiting for that to sit. I'm currently watching the Irish weather. Here is that Beamish in all his glory. Nice to see Barry Coffey, goal scorer, coming down to the pub and all. Not too sure if he had a drink. If he did, I think he went fully Phil Mitchell. I'll have an orange juice, please. And I actually forgot to check the comments in the photo of the football. The football. You always dare me to put your comments in. Hopefully you saw yours, including this one from Tommy. Tommy put being eaten by a lion at Fotter. Mate, I've already done it. Oh, and how we out. Before I leave, I've been told to try some tear tours. Cheese and onion flavour. Cheers, Ryan. And my verdict is, well, cheese and onion crisps. Nice, yeah. I'm saying bye to all the lads in the pub. It was uh, time for me to go because I need to be up very, very early. 3:30 a.m. to be exact to get a flight back to England so I can do non-league day at King's Lynn. That's going to be the next video. But for this one, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the like button. We want 10,000 likes for this one. Let's see what the Irish support is like. And if you're new to the channel, this is what we do. We go to Football Grounds. We rate them. So if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when a new video is out. And if you want to binge, check out the On The Road playlist. Link is in the description below. Over 100 Football Grounds we've been to. Enjoy. As I say, that is it for me in this one. My name's Smith. This has been On The Road and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I didn't say top of the morning to you once in this video. Not once. It's probably because I got there in the afternoon, I guess.